Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about stored procedures and in particular about setting delimiters. I've created my database, created my table, and inserted some sample data into my table. I'm starting on my query and my query works just fine. That's great. Now I want to build it into a stored procedure. Let's pass in some parameters. My stored procedure is looking nice. Here I can say create procedure if not exists so that I don't replace it if it's already there. Even better, I can say create or replace procedure so that now I will make sure that this is the latest version. Now, as I set my content into place, let's set that in place here and update some variables. Right now, semicolon terminates a statement. So this is the statement. We have a semicolon there. As we create stored procedures, we need to change the delimiter so that we make sure that we're executing all of the statements inside of our procedure that terminate with a semicolon. By convention, we'll use two forward slashes. Now I've terminated my stored procedure. And I'll put it back after my command. Let's execute this command. And my stored procedure creation works great. Let's call it. That worked great. Delimiter is a great way to change the terminating character as we create store procedures. Thanks for watching.